Hi, I'm Tiffany Lopez, Chief Growth Officer at Aesthetic Record. In today's training, I'll walk you through tying consents and questionnaires to your services and sending them to patients before they arrive. Our patient portal is an important feature you'll want to activate in our AR No Touch Toolkit. You'll also learn more about our document repository. Here, you can search per patient for consents, questionnaires, membership agreements, procedures, and any other documents. Each document is timestamped and stored by date and file type to make it easy to review before your patient arrives. Now, it's time to get started. Welcome to your new document repository feature training. This is a very helpful feature if you're using our new AR No Touch Toolkit. You'll want to first make sure you've gone into your appointments tab under your services and connected the right consents and questionnaires to each service type. Once a patient books that service, we will send out the applicable consents and questionnaires to the patient portal. Now upon completion, you can review all those documents inside the patient's document repository. For example, patient Anastasia Parker is coming in for treatment tomorrow. I'm in the web control center in her patient profile. I go to more info and click documents. I'm now inside of her document repository. Across the top, you see the option to search by name, by document type, the time defaults of this year, you can also change that, and the choice to add a file and attach it to a procedure here. I have the particular file name, the file type, a timestamp, a provider name, and also the action to view. On the provider name, you see an NA or you see an actual name. When the patient completes a document inside the portal, before the procedure occurs, it shows up here as NA. When the patient comes in, be sure to attach the right appointment time to your procedure, which will then swap the NA for the actual provider's name. If you do these on site inside the procedure screens, it will auto default to the provider's name. You also see in your document type a full list of documents that you can see here. These are for all time, so any file, any consent or questionnaire, any membership agreement, procedure or health questionnaire is all listed here. On the option to view, let's say it's the COVID-19 patient free screen, I click view, I can see her answers and decide if she should or should not come in tomorrow. I can also see any prior consents or questionnaires. If you have a new patient intake form, for instance, she may just fill that out one time, you know it's here and it's done, and not send that out again. I can also check on consents that may have a one year expiration date to see if they've all been re recorded here and decide whether I should or should not have her do those again. I can also check out procedures, for instance, her good faith exam. When I hit view here, it downloads that particular procedure to my desktop. Again, this is only available today on the web control center. It's coming very soon to the provider app. In the meantime, be sure to check your appointments here under the patient profile document repository to make sure that they've turned in their consents and questionnaires before the treatment time. If the patient has not completed something, it does not show up here. In order for it to show up here, it must be completed. So let them know to please fill that out if you do not see it here. If you have any questions, please let us know. You can email us, you can DM us, or start a chat on our website. Good luck with your AR No Touch Toolkit.